Citizens of Bergen, it is a great pleasure to be able to send you the best wishes of the Scottish Government on the event of the 950th anniversary of the founding of the city. The founding of what is now the city of Bergen is an excellent example of our shared heritage. The man who founded the Green Meadow amidst the mountains left Britain in 1066 after the Battle of Stamford Bridge, which effectively ended the Viking Age. So Bergen symbolises the start of a new age in Norway founded on peace, trade and an international perspective, something which still characterises the Bergen outlook today. Just 28 years after Bergen was founded, Norwegian control over Orkney and the Western Isles of Scotland was formalised in 1098. King Edgar of Scotland signed a treaty with King Magnus III of Norway. And this treaty lasted until the Battle of Largs in July 1266. In 2016, the Scottish Parliament uh, celebrated the 750th anniversary of the Treaty of Perth, which set out much of the modern boundaries of Scotland and ended the military conflict between Norway and Scotland over the sovereignty of the Hebrides and the Isle of Man. The ambassadorial style was rather different then, as the treaty was signed at Blackfriars Monastery on the north side of the city of Perth. Even in 1266, there was a strong appetite to forge a partnership and to set a diplomatic and political context to foster trade and development links which have pervaded ever since. Whilst the sea routes of the medieval and earlier period between the Western Isles, Orkney and Shetland have been replaced by air links in the modern world, the flows of people and cultures between our countries remain steady. And it is perhaps natural that we would look to the north for some of our closest neighbours. We share a cultural and philosophical outlook driven by a similar climate and a culture strongly influenced by topography. One of Norway's most famous modern authors, uh, Knut Hamsen, captures the link between the landscape and the people in many books, but this quote could be just as much about Scotland as it could his native Norway. Earth and sea merged, the sea tossed itself in the air in a fantastic dance into the shapes of men and horses and tattered banners. I stood in the lee of an overhanging rock and thought of many things. This captures the essence of the shared relationship. Topography, light and weather inform an approach to life of standing back and considering thinking. A quiet people who take a considered approach. These ties clearly remain strong and there is a powerful policy rationale for shared work between Scotland and our Nordic partners. We share many challenges from empowering our rural communities to accelerating decarbonisation and promoting a sustainable use of our marine resources. And there's a lot we can learn from each other and even more we can achieve together. It is to strengthen this type of cooperation aimed at improving the well-being and resilience of our communities that the Scottish Government published its first Arctic policy framework at the end of September. As part of this effort, we are eager to build new opportunities for collaboration with our Norwegian neighbours, including the city and region of Bergen. We already, of course, have a strong relationship with Bergen, who have gifted Christmas trees to Edinburgh and Orkney for over 50 years. And every year, students from Hordeland also study in Scotland, spending a year living and learning in Scotland and helping to cement our ties for further generations. Strong cultural collaborations in the heritage and arts sectors also support our economic ties, extending well beyond oil and gas into aquaculture and the service sector. Bergen is also embarking upon an exciting new journey this year, marking the beginning of the new Vestland administration, a reference to the historical connections the city had 950 years ago. As your steadfast partner to the West, Scotland looks forward to being part of this new departure. Perhaps our relationship is best summed up by a quote from Liv Ullman, which demonstrates the benefits of the closeness which we still enjoy. We all need somebody to talk to. It would be good if we talked, not just pitter-patter, but real talk. We shouldn't be so afraid because most people really like this contact that you show you're vulnerable makes them free to be vulnerable. 
Or perhaps we should set our ambitions on a motto from Ibsen, who eloquently suggested that a thousand words will not leave so deep an impression as one deed. So I hope with this deed of wishing you many congratulations on the 950th anniversary, the impression of the depth of relationship between Scotland, Bergen and Norway is reinforced and renewed for centuries to come. <laughs>